Our water quality parameter that we chose was benzene. Benzene can affect human health, as in if you have excessive repeated exposure to benzene, it results in penicetopenia and aplastic anemia, and is generally associated with a marked decrease in the number of cells in the bone marrow, resulting in severe clinical manifestations, including immune suppression and melodoplastic syndrome. Lower repeat exposure to benzene results in pseudopenia. Affected people may display a decrease in white blood cells, potentially resulting in death due to infection, a decrease in platelet count, potentially resulting in death due to hemorrhage, or a decrease in red or blood cell count. Benzene can also influence aquatic life, in which when aquatic life like fish, shellfish, and other creatures in our rivers, lakes, and oceans is exposed to benzene, it makes them sick and can stop them from having babies. It can alter their behavior, change their appearance, and shorten their lives. A healthy range in an ecosystem of benzene would be 3.4 to 5.76. Many things can influence or change this parameter, such as cleaning products, oil spills, gas, smoke from forest fires, erupting volcanoes, and some plants and animals have benzene in them. Mercury can come from many different things. Uh, mercury can come from industries such as um, precious metal mining or cement manufacturing and chemical manufacturing, which can emit of mercury to land and into water. Fossil fuel power plants may also emit mercury into the air by burning fuels such as coal, oil, and petroleum. Our landfills and sewers also contribute to mercury being released into our soil and water. Its elements are found in rocks and ores. Mercury is produced into the atmosphere by volcanoes and the evaporation of moisture from soil. Mercury is a great conductor of electricity. How does this contaminant affect aquatic life, wildlife, and humans? Why is it a problem? Aquatic life. The fish, shellfish, and other creatures in our rivers, lakes, and oceans are likely to be exposed to mercury as it is often found in water. It can make them very sick and may even kill them. Mercury can build up in the tissue of fish and shellfish and be harmful to people and to other animals that eat them. How humans get exposed. Drinking water, eating foods that contain contain traces of mercury, being exposed to mercury for den from dental work and medical treatments, breathing contaminated air, eating fish or shellfish which have been exposed to mercury, working at or living near factories where mercury is produced or used such as fossil fuel plants or cement manufacturers. Once mercury is released into the environment, it will remain there for many years. I received my sources from http www.npi.gov au r e s o u r c e b e n z e n e also http www.uvm.edu parenthesis impact e m p a c t a i r b e n z e n e .php3 also http dash dash www.epa.gov dash hd dash about dot htm thank you